Hold on, delete one now because of me being late? I put down in the description running late originally, and because uh, when I do when I do put it up, when I go to set up OBS the next day, uh, or sorry, the next time I go streaming, uh, it's like it keeps that particular description until I change it, so... Uh, yeah, I had to take off the Robo Man is running late thing, basically. Gotcha. <sighs> I was also not sure if I was even going to be commentating tonight because you know, because of how my back's been feeling all day. Gotcha. But eh, I'll tough it out. I mean, you know your limits. If you need to stop, then. Well, no, I. Yeah. Know. I know. That's why I'm thankful. Uh, that's why I'm thankful. Like Shad uh, took me aside in a DM earlier and said, like, you know, you need help with that. Like, mm -hmm. Again, really appreciate it. Of course. We're all right here for you, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna leave a message here. So Livy is, or er, it was asking about, like you know, like bringing eh, bringing stuff up now. As soon as we go to live to air, like we're pretty much eh, we're pretty much good to go for that. At that point, I I believe that more than enough times passed. I think. Sure, whatever. there be a spelling mistake because my keyboard's a piece of shit. After math, damn it. <laughs> Not at her math. Or <laughs> or at her math or whatever the fuck it is. Titus! Are things calibrated right this time? I'm hoping. I I don't friggin' know, Stormy. <clears throat> and that being said, we might as well go wake Mark up. I'll just go backstage. All right, I'm sure he'll be up eventually. I'm not feeling like doing much this week. Find the hole! I didn't bring any. Oh. Well, anyway. shit. <clears throat> gotcha this uh, time, didn't my... I? I was about to knock. Well, I heard, uh... I heard someone yelling, so I figured I better get the hell up here. <laughs> well, that's your uh, morning wake-up call, I guess. Yeah, no kidding. No, no, that's okay, Kaiser. Last thing I need is people throwing grenades into my home. <laughs> if, Cole forgot to bring, if, if Cole forgot to bring any this time, then I'm actually quite thankful. And please do like it at the moment. Whatever. And ladies and gentlemen, we are live to air. It is the aftermath tonight of Sabo Beach Slam Fest. Queens of War is on the air. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mark Wondersham, of course, a long time, uh, alongside the Nightmare Emperor, Robo Man, and the Averted Shadow. As we get set for uh, the very first match of the night, we're already being treated to the former, uh, by the looks of it, the now current XPWL Women's Hardcore Champion stepping into the ring with one of the Bloody Symphony, who are still kind of reeling from their loss of the internet tag team titles at Slamfest. 
Yeah, you would not believe how much I've had to calm down Bardashio. I'm sure I heard I heard that she was pretty uh, upset. Very. I thought I I thought she would have known better than to attack somebody like that, but uh, I'll, I'll take care of her. Don't worry. Frustration and adrenaline. That's all I can think of. Mm -hmm. Crash is the fucking glow on that preview. Yeah, no kidding. Also doesn't help that Jessica. Also doesn't help that Jessica. Uh, Jessica's outfit is glowing too. So the glow is kind of intensified. Louder screens. Yeah. Always Let's make it a good one. The following contest is your opening night match of the evening and is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Equestria and being accompanied by Peria Cakes and Rodaggio Dassa, and representing the Bloody Symphony, of course. <clears throat> She is the Drunken Siren, Sonica Deuce Can. Not much of a dancing mood tonight is Sonica either. I think uh, she's got a bit of a chip on her shoulder tonight. After witness, I, I guess she was just following Rodaggio's example, and I have no idea. Well, probably. Probably. Probably the only one of the three that's been anything but calm about it is Piria. Well, no. Yeah. The, the hot-headed one being the most chill? I mean, I'm saying as that she took it in stride. Anyways... <clears throat> Her opponent being accompanied by Warded Gale and Jessica Shino from Mobius and representing the new war. She is the Jungle Cat and your new XPWL Women's Hardcore Champion, Tara Stillweather! Tara actually doing a really, really good performance at Slam Fest, besting Paper Cut and Magic Bear in that triple threat match. That was an incredibly well fought match. Yeah. Actually, kind of surprised. I think that's the one. I think that's probably the one match where I don't think the Jungle Stomp connected more than once in a match because the first time she completely missed. Yeah. Nevertheless, she still didn't stop her from capturing the title. So let's see if Sonica can uh, have some lightning strike tonight. Well, nope, here we go either way. Into the center, Tara forcing Sonica back up against the corner immediately. Immediately overpowering the Siren. Clean break, not bad. Ooh, Ooh. forearm shot Good and arm. kick to the leg. Catches that one. Sonica gets a kick in and of her own and forces Tara against the ropes. I get the feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of strong arming this match. Oh, kick to the gut. And a clothesline by Tara and Sonica is down. Arm drag. Match is starting to quicken up already. 
question also remains if either of their respective girls by the ringside will interfere in any way. I'm not sure, but Rodaggio and Perry are staying pretty far away from the apron. Oh, what a Ooh. counter! Alley oop reversal by Sonica. And snap suplex and oh, float over into a pin. One. One. Only, Only one. one. Little too early. Just, just the one. Check to the thigh and Hurricane Rana. Jumping Hurricane Rana. Sonica trying to get some souls. Try to get some good kicks in. Tara caught her with a, uh, with a uh, high kick to the head. Ducks underneath. Irish whip. Oh, nice arm drag takeover. Even I was a little oh. when I just oh. saw oh. Boot right to the head. Irish whip. Far side. Sonica ducks underneath. Here comes Tara again. Leap frog goes past the ref. Fireman's carry Fireman's counter. Fireman's carry reversal. And oh, low drop kick. Muting for a while. I think I just split my foot open in IRL. Oh, well, oh, take your time then. Sonica with a shot to the forearm. Strangled and up on the rope again. Yep, Tara taking advantage here. Kick to the gut and sunset Whoa. flip, power bomb. Doesn't hold it for the pin. Well, she's oh, going to go for a pin now. anyway. One. One. Only one. Ref's kind of stepping up his game, too, a little bit here. I would hope so. Oh, Whoa. slips through, it kicked in the head. Uh-oh. I think she's going to look to stir the barrel now. Kick to the gut. Oh, yes. Up. One. And two. two. And three. Stir the barrel. It's all like immediately into the cover. One. One. Two. Uh, two. Only two. Only two. Tar is still in this. You all right? After the stream, someone remind me to fucking dull out one of the edges to my desk. Fucking sharp. Ouch. Hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine now. I just thought I I thought I did split it open for a second. Oh, oh, package pile driver. Yeah, I thought I'd like a brain buster, but yeah. Well, maybe. No jungle stomp incoming. Oh, oh connects. Connects. What the hell? She's going for the She's going for two. Yeah. Going for broke oh here. Gosh, he is. Oh, Second double jungle stomp connects. Double jungle stomp. Jesus. Dear Lord, Tara looking to send a clear statement tonight. Oh, uh, oh. Peria. Peria now causing a distraction. Tara screaming at her. What the hell do you think you're doing? Get the hell down. Uh, was made a move was towards Peria. To and Peria said I was getting down. Just back right the fuck off as soon as Tara starts stalking her. Oh, Sonica Ooh. with a big splash. That's something I've not seen out of her. It's Tara back up. What is she going to do? Headlock. Trying to wear her down. Tara's still got a decent amount of size over Sonica, too, so Sonica wearing her down is not uncommon. Oh, absolutely. And Tara picks her up. Front slam. Elbow drop. Ow. Sonica with a job open rehearsal of her own. Trying to go for a grapple there. Tara breaks it up and a drop kick. Sonic in a pretty bad place with Jessica right there. And oh, oh. down to the floor. And Tara not going out after her. Oh, no, never mind. There she goes. Jessica and Gail watching intently. Rodaggio making her way over. Yeah, I noticed that. She started making her way around the ring. Oh, Is no, Tara going to try to seal the deal with a third jungle stomp? Jungle stomp for three! Not no. this time! And right into Sonica's <laughs> waiting arms! Oh! oh it's submission! A submission of hers. Holy crap! And Tara's right in the corner. That in a while. Tara's right in the corner. She's got nowhere to go here. She can't reach for the ropes. Didn't Doesn't break the hold. Sonica. The damage might have been done. Oh, no. Damage
damage has been done, but I think we're gonna get a stir to barrel. No, no we're not. No, no counter. It. Shove Sonica down into a scorpion death lock, but nope. Sonica grabbed the you notice Sonica grabbed the ropes the second she had the chance. Oh, uh -oh. Dear. and cap claw! Oh. But again, no, breaking out of it immediately. I think right rope break. It. Was that a rope break? Look like it's no, it wasn't. Sonica actually pick. forced her way and out. Again, we're close to the ropes. I'm noticing a trend here. Sonica yes. taken down again. Close line, and there goes Tara to the floor right in front of Renaggio. Sonica now jaw jacking, telling Tara to get up. Oh, not after. I'm a little surprised. So, er, I'm a little surprised Rodaggio didn't try to get involved there. She just stood there staring at Tara. Perhaps she realizes that it could lead to a DQ for Tara. Well, po Sonica for that matter. Possible. If Sonica wins this, she might actually have a chance to go for this title. Tara set up on the apron. Back into the ring they go. Sonica makes her way back into. Oh, shot to the head. And Spanish, Spanish fly. fly. In the cover, immediately goes Tara. One, two, one, two. A two. No. Getting closer, though. Misses the drop kick. Missed it. And Tara Sonica gets him with the bottom of her And Tara rolls it out to the ring again, right in front of Rodaggio. I think the ref also told Bergaggio to get back to her side of the ring. Arm kicks to Tara's knees, takes her down again. We're gonna try to stir the barrel again. If she hits this, she might get a victory. No, nope. again. Caught again. Uh-oh. This couldn't end it, though. Oh, what are we about to Cat's get? claw again. Cat's claw. And Sonica was in the ropes. But what are you doing? Again. One, one, one two, 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 three. three. What? What? The hell huh? happened there? I'm just as confused as you are, Mark. Hmm. Well, there's the first one. I think this is the second one. No, that's no, the third that the one. The one, one that was countered. Sonica might have passed out from pain, yeah, but I don't know. Like, right there, like, literally, there was a rope break. I think that was the only thing that saved Sonica. Tara pulled her away from the ropes and apparently got a three count. Here is your winner by means of submission, Tara Stillweather. Her first night as women's new women's hardcore champion, and she is right back up. Yeah, Sonica's having a hard time moving down there. I think somebody should get down there. I'll look after her after the show, don't worry. Next match on the card now. Oh, oh. this should be interesting. Brittany of the Flock challenging Hanako Farrell, who actually had a really great match with Jeeva the Storm at Slamfest. Came up a little bit short, but at the same time, she really, uh, she actually did really good out there. Indeed she did. Yeah, Sonica had to have passed out. That's the only explanation that I have for it either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, it's not one of those 2K things, god damn it. Singing you a sad song, dead man walking, go put a body bag on. I just want to get it, they never put a tag on. Hanging with the girls, you can never get a hand on. So I'm just saving my peak, and everything they said was out of my reach. It's so close now, I did it all for the hometown. So I'm all you, we ain't skipped the boom. So I'm just saving my peak, and everything. Now on the ringside, we go. We do too, Cornelius. The following contest is an extreme rules match scheduled for one fall. 
Introducing first from Dark Side and representing the flock, she is the beauty <coughs> bitch in blue. This is Brittany. Surely they won't notice that step at the top. Surely. Probably not. They can't hear you from up here. Ah, oh, thank God for that. Then again, I if they go back and watch the tape and actually hear you say it, that's another story. I'd be a little more worried if it was Abigail who heard that. <laughs> You'll be thankful to know that, I guess, that, that Abigail is actually not at the show tonight. Mm -hmm. She wasn't booked, so apparently she's actually uh, spending time with her family at home. As would be expected. The Shepherd, as far as I know, also did a very good job at Slamfest against Robo Man. Um, well, if they're sportsmanlike, they'll know that it was actually a very good fight. It, I had it was a that. damn good match. Shepard wasn't complaining about the fight he got either. Disappointed mm -hmm. that he didn't come out on top, obviously, but... Are you saying you don't enjoy my current reign as champion? I never said I that. I'm not saying any such thing. Well, again, it's up to the next, uh, next one in line to see if they can't uh, dethrone me. Yep. Excuse me. You have an excuse, you nasty bastard. <laughs> there she is. Her opponent from Mobius. She is the Flying Puma, Anako Fairhall. Her spirit's certainly not doused at all after that showing from Sabo Beach last night. As far as I know, Hanako gets along with the Imperium rather well anyway, so I doubt there's any hard feelings after that match. I mean... Oh, well, absolutely not. Jidra took her to the limit. She, like I said, she came up short, but you know what? At least she knew she gave it her all. Can't deny that. Indeed. Oh my! Oh, Insiguri right out of the gate. Insiguri to Hanako. Stomping the hell out of Hanako from the from behind. She is not letting Hanako get up. Just stomping the hell out of her. Wild swing didn't hit. Back elbow did though. Brittany's starting to brawl here. I don't know if this is a good idea. Ducks underneath. Went for a kick. No luck there. Brittany shoving Hanako off again. Nice flying oh, clothesline. Close line. And Hanako with one of her own. Kick to the back. Stomp on the head. And double leg pickup. Brittany now. Oh. Hard to say in the early... Oh, Spear! Ooh, Never spear. mind, Hanako just took advantage of the match. Busting the Spear out already. Good lord. Stomps on Brittany's arm. And Brittany, and Brittany takes her legs out. the knees her. out. What the hell is she doing? Uh-oh! No Mark. And the Demo Man gives her a ladder. Hanako not having any of that, though. Back oh, Zupla. Whoa, whoa, that was close. I thought for a good second there that was going to be a German onto the ladder. So did I. Press slam onto the apron. Ooh. Oh, oh on the God. floor. Ace, Ace cutter. Cutter. cutter.
Brittany using her agility to get herself out of that predicament. Not bad. Oh, shot to the face. Right. And sit out, body slam on the floor. Ladies, you got a pin in the ring. You do realize that, right? Oh. I don't think they quite care. Oh, Brittany. Backstabber. Ow. Bit of a modified one at that. Brittany showing off a bit there. You haven't won the match yet, Brittany. And, oh, shot to the head. Oh, God. Oh. Snap DDT oh God. on the floor. Praise be to the heavens that wasn't on the ladder. Don't be so sure. They're dangerously close to that damn thing. It could still happen. I've noticed that. Oh, no, maybe Finally not. Finally spin Brittany back in. We're gonna get a pin attempt here. We are. One. One. Two. Two. Brittany kicks out again. Went for a kick, didn't work. And Brittany oh, rushing oh, legs. Leg sweep. Santana go back up. What is she gonna do? Oh, super Ooh. kick. Super kick. Uh oh. Are we about to see an unprettier? No, spinning nope. wheel kick. Into the cover. One, two, two three. three. Brittany with a spinning wheel kick actually managing to get the victory here. Must have had to roll into that one. Had to. Oh, look at this. Brittany getting out of the ring as quick as she can. Hannah go back to her feet. And oh, die. There goes the ref. I mean, I guess I can't blame Hanako for being frustrated, but even still, damn. Let's uh, just think move the on to whatever's next on the card. Uh, yikes. Sorry, guys, about game. I really can't endorse this thing. I hate the promo system in this game. It's ass, and whatever it says, it's not going to sound like my character. And okay. It's just. I can't stand this thing. Above all things, it's just, I can't stand this promo system. You want us to yeah. try to skip this thing? Yes, please. Alrighty. Fair enough. False advertising on the screen here. The Gretchens are uh, about to get their shit kicked in there, uh, in a minute here. Every time. I ain't singing you a sad song, dead man walking, go put a body bag on. I just want to get it, they never put a tag on. Hang on with the girls. Dum -da 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 -da. She's out of my reach. So close now. No worries, Cole. We can... Technical difficulties. Give us a sec, ladies and gentlemen. It's completely understandable, Cole. So don't worry about it, man. I don't know what even spurred it on. As far as I've heard, apparently Fiametta was making a ruckus or something at management again. <laughs> Which Sounds like even casual stuff. Doing... Yeah. This shouldn't take too long. Oh, wait a minute. We can actually do this? Uh, but does it skip it? I don't think it skips it. Darn. No, it probably doesn't. No, probably doesn't. And I don't want to go through another loading screen. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. Yeah, this thing isn't turning out all that well. I can understand why Cole would not want this to go through. I'm going to just move through this as quick as I can. Sorry, guys. No worries. This is one of the reasons why I don't like using the promo system for the women wrestlers. Admittedly, they're it's literal garbage. Indeed. Oh, thank God. There was a skip point. Hooray. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Getting back to our regularly scheduled program, we're moving on to a rivalry that doesn't seem to want to find an ending here. Rainbine Dash and Stardos Glamour locking up again. These two ain't never gonna... We're never gonna hear the end of either of these two. 
Not until one of them gets in. Not until one of them gets so badly injured they don't come back. That'd be my guess. Here we go, let's get down the right side. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Equestria and representing the elements of insanity, this is the Cyber Rainbow Rainbow Dash. was mentioning that she might actually want to make a serious sh uh, buy for the shooting star title now that Libby's got it. Huh. Oh, wouldn't that be a show? Yes. But unfortunately, she's still got that unfinished business she needs to take care of with Stardos, which, ironically yeah. enough, never wants to end, apparently. Why does that not surprise me? Or at Stardos least that's how been... the Stardos is very persistent, I've noticed. Yeah, I was about to say, Stardos has never been one to let a grudge go, so... Well, we know where she's coming from. Every friggin' time. Actually, I find it funny the Shooting Star Champion's actually involved in a big match later on tonight. Big eight-woman tag team match. First time I think we've had one in a long time on Queens of War. Hmm. So that should be fun. Where are you? There you are. Her opponent. Making her way through the crowd from amateur science, she is the leader of the Magitech Freak Hunters. This is Stardust Glamour! Again. Oh, come on, Rainbine, you're not going to do this again. No, for Christ's sake, woman. She's deliberately trying to get in Stardos' head at this point, I swear. And remember, most of Stardos' Zoom friggin' programming is all AI based, so more than likely her initial reaction is going to be anger out of whatever Rainbine does. Yeah. I really think she's got to mind herself unless she wants the other two Magitex breathing down her neck. That's true, like, too. Like, seriously. Oh, well, oh, I mean, at least dust mining. As far as I'm aware, Karakor has apparently gone back to the scene division or wherever she's gone. Oh, 
Now Stardust wrenching actually, on the legs uh, of the Rainbow. Actually, mm -hmm. funny story, Karakor hasn't shown up for a Steam Division. She actually, uh, she's taking, uh, she's flying the Magitex banner in other co in other companies right now. As far as I know, I think Karakor actually went to YWL. Hmm. To try what to make Rainbow a name for doing? herself there. Oh! Ouch! What kind of move is that? Kind of a wagon pull submission or whatever. And what the Rainbine. hell? Rainbine Phoenix Splash Ooh. right into Stardos' knees. Ow. Try to super Missed kick into work. Kick. Irish whip into the corner. Start. Oh, clothesline. Stardos gets run over. Stardos enters with a jawbreaker. There's a super kick. Mm -hmm. Daring Stardos to get back up. Whoa! Nice springboard Ooh. attempt. No luck there. Nobody home. Stardos, oh, oh, tried for a sidewalk slam. Rainbine gets out of it. Irish whip into the corner. Backhand spring into an elbow. Ooh. And a 450 off the bottom rope. One, two. Almost. I believe she calls that uh, particular combination the Buccaneer Blaze. Hmm. She's one Rainbine cutter away from probably sealing the deal here, and I'm I'm sure that's exactly what she's thinking right now. Oh yes, she Irish is. Irish whip off Up the rope, springboard, oh, cutter. Stardos more than likely is out. One, one, two, two it's three. over. It's over. Second ah, time the match has ended in that fashion. Rainbine, I think, is out to prove a point. Stardos, too. Stardos and Dustbine can't touch her. Yeah. Superior opponent. So we get to see Rainbine and Dustbine have at each other again. Yeah. That was a really fast match. Yeah, I'll agree with uh, Hanako there. Stardos not able to deal with Rainbine's speed this time. Not at all. Here is your winner, Rainbine Dash! These two end up going at it again, I swear to God. Well, let's hope they don't. Mm. Then again, knowing Stardos, this rivalry might be far from over. Indeed. Actually, if I remember correctly, I think Stardos and I mean, the Stardos Dustbine and Karakor coming here originally was to attack Rainbine when they first showed up, but Rainbine showing that uh, she's a lot tougher than speaking of them. <laughs> Stardos may not uh, might, uh, uh, Stardos might as well not even leave. Hey, speaking of Dustbine, it looks like she, flanked again by Stardos, is looking to take on Kai of the One, being flanked by her number one fan, Seiya Sushimi. Oops, surprisingly, I don't think we haven't seen Seiya in a while. Yeah, she's part-time, remember. She you also has a real estate empire to manage. Yes. I know that she I know that she's backstage at XPW all events, but she's not always coming out with the, the one, obviously, because certain matches it would be better if the managers stay backstage so that they don't get uh, uh what's that word? Decimated. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> it is nice to see her coming out with Kai again though, especially you know how much she adores. Kai, as far as I'm aware. Actually, I think Say has been a pretty heavy advocate for the one lately. Not just, really? uh, not just Kai, but the entire faction. Wasn't aware of that. Well, I've noticed that if they ever have anything that they need to approach management about and they don't know how to go about it, they ask Saya because she knows how to talk to people. Ouch. Uh, I'm gonna take one of my toes too while I'm at it. Wait, 
That was an long. <laughs> Already starting up the next one. Regard to our virtual crowd. Again. Of course not. <clears throat> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making her way through the crowd. Again. From Aperture Science, she is a member of the Magitech Freight Hunters. This is Lightning Dustbine. You gotta imagine she's pretty irritated after that last match that Stardos was in. Oh, no, of for sure. Speaking of which, where is Stardos? I didn't see her with her. There she is. Oh, there she is. Right there. I think she finally decided to get up from the floor. <laughs> well, hopefully this one lasts longer than five minutes. Well, let's hope. Given the combatant she's going up against, probably. <clears throat> Her opponent being accompanied by Seiya Sashimi from the Realm of Shadows and representing the One. This is Kai! Sardos was in the last match, Alex. I believe that she was just sitting back behind the, the stairs there, like one of the steel steps. Both ladies ready, let's gear up. Bell rings, and oh, Kai with the first strike. Hammer lock. Oh, Dustbind with a nice counter into a headlock of her own. Wrenching it in on Kai. Kai takes her back to the rope, Cyrus whip. And oh, knee lift. Hard one at that. Kai lifts her up. Fireman's carry into an airplane spin. Bit of a classic. And Busting that her. one out early. You usually only see that when she knows she's got it. Well, maybe Kai's confident enough to think she does. Back suplex. And just by finally counter. back up with a jawbreaker. Oh, wheel kick. Dustmine now trying to take advantage of uh, Kai's mistake here. Ooh, snap jab. And oh. Kai enters one of her own. Hard right. Oh, belly to belly counter with an elbow, and Dustmine went for a drop kick and missed. It's Dragon a screw. Ooh. Scrambling for a moment there. Whipped her right into the rope there. Oh, what the, what hell, the hell is Kai hell? doing? Oh, submission hole! She rarely uses submission hold, so that's kind of a surprise. But that might be why. Gus Fine powers out of it. Trying to bust out some new stuff. Hurricane Rana. And Gus Fine starting to turn up the speed here. And, oh, Kai with another counter. Double leg pickup. These two are all over each other here. Indeed. Kai setting Dustbine in the corner. Whoop! Misses the drop kick. Nice sidestep, and now Dustbine with the advantage. Going to the uh oh, going to the top. Hurricane Rana. And trying to Hit go for the cover. Immediately. One. Didn't even Whoa. get a one. What is she gonna do? Stomps to the Stomps gut. To the gut. Oh, 
Drives the knees into the net. Drives. Sending just back to the corner again. Is Kai going to try to level her now? Oh, getting a running start here. Well, yes, she is. Rushes in with the right hands. Uppercut. And he's not done. Alley -oop. Alley -oop. Sardos is practically screaming at uh -oh. Dustbind to do something. Surgical incision. Surgical incision. That's it. Say is loving this. Dustbind's out. She's got him. One. One. Two. 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 Three. Three. Damn. Damn, that was Magitex. a bit hard in five minutes. Magitek's 0-2 tonight. A little surprised, I honestly thought Dustbite was doing rather well in there. Kai catching her with a surgical incision and that frickin' beatdown combo that she loves to use in that corner. It pretty yeah. much sealed the deal for Dustbite before it even got started. And there's the surgical incision. Sayo losing it out there. <laughs> Starting to wonder if Stardos and Zen Dustbite are losing their edge out there. Probably just need to reprogram themselves, I don't know. Masha. Here is your winner, Kai! The Brawler of the One Triumphs. As far as I'm aware, this is not the One's only outing tonight. No, it is not. Come to think of it. Speak of the literal devil. This is what I was telling you about. The newly crowned shooting star champion, Livy, belligerent, Big and Gwen teaming up. And this is a really oddball tag team. Taking on the collective members of the one, Trish, Cam, Melody, and Carol. How's that a clusterfuck match? Pretty much. Yeah. I don't think we've even seen one of these sorts of matches in like ages. Hey, is this Foley tag team or is this Tornado? This is, uh, there is no, unfortunately, there is no Tornado tag option for this particular type of match. Unless I was willing to put them in a ladder match. And I don't know about you. I don't really know if I want to see them all trying to grab for the ladder within the first five seconds of the match. Either way, I really, do, I really do think that Melody and Cam could use a boost given how they lost the tag, the women's tag titles to the two suit slayers at Slamfest. But That's as true. far as I'm aware, they aren't even really, really upset about this. I think I actually even saw Cam speaking to one of the slayers earlier tonight, and they were. Taking it in stride, actually. Well, that's good to know. At least we, at least we know backstage there's no real hard feelings here. I mean, they did a head, that contest was fucking like hard hitting, fast paced. It was definitely worth five stars. Indeed. My question is, how well is. Wait, so is this like two teams working together and such? Nope. Yes. This is, four, this is two teams of four working together. Yeah. Oh boy. My question is, how well is um, how well is Livy and Belligerent going to get along here as a, a team whenever it comes to uh, well, whatever it comes to what happened during the pay per view. I don't think Belligerent and Livy are really minding what happened at the pay per view. <laughs> I don't know. Given how belligerent acted, reacted to losing the title, I don't know. Yeah, that's could what go, I was. That's what I was worried way. about. Could go either way. Uh, hello. Stand below that time. Get out of here. Get out of here. What? The, what on earth? The hell? What the hell is Libby? Oh, is no. she calling her out here? Okay. Is Livy using? Uh, is Livy imitating Unbreakable tonight? What the hell is this? I was going to wonder that myself. Oh, that way. Oh, hell. Okay. There she is. <laughs> so uh, apparently, <clears throat> I guess these two are putting their differences aside. That name card's gonna say the wrong thing. They're fired. They're fired. You're fired, fired dude. I'm coming back here after the show, and I'm gonna th throw you out of this building personally. Anyway, go ahead, Chad. 
The following contest is an eight woman tag team match scheduled for one fall. Anderson first as part of team number one from Union City and the Realm of Shadows, respectively. They are the team of the Hall of Fame Octoling Wild Libby and the Acolyte of the Apex, Belligerent. Hell, they're even using Reiki's theme. I don't know how to take that. I really do not. The guy who put the prompter up, Alex, the one that put it put it up is belligerent with Breaky. That's obviously not unbreakable out there with belligerent right now. No, it's living. What's the question why of all people to mimic she was mimicking unbreakable, given those I think that I think the two, I think the two of them are trying to show at least a small form of unity, I guess, since, since they're teaming up tonight. Yeah, both of these are a pair of little shits. Good. They probably paid off the guy at the prompter just to bug you. <laughs> you know, now that now that you say it, I'm kind of starting to believe that. Try. Imagine Unbreakable is not going to be too amused with what Libby's doing, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as I say that. <laughs> I think I can hear. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I can hear pissed off inkling screaming from backstage. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. If anything, uh, Kaiser was probably a Gretchen for whatever reason. <coughs> I paid the prompter to change it actually. Please don't fire him. Oh, god damn it. Levy, that sounds like a you problem. Oh my. Looks like they finally got an entrance figured out. Look at that. Introducing the other half of Team One from the inhabited domain. They are the team of Gwen and Invigorated. It is quite nice to see these two again, I must say. Oh, for sure. After what's been going on backstage, I know it had Gwen worried and had Vig worried. Some of them being involved with Vig, but it's good to see these two. It's good, very good. Mm -hmm. What the hell is Vig doing on the ropes? Relaxing by the looks of it. Yep. Very solid team we've got going on here, but how will they handle a, a team such as the one? That'll be and that'll be an enigma on its own. Yeah. Which is interesting as as far as I've learned, apparently Invigorated and Trish have some kind of friendship going on, supposedly. As far as I know, yeah. Well this could be friendly competition, just giving everybody is an opportunity to get out there. Because, you know, again, we only have so many matches in a night, so, you know, the more uh, the more people get out there, the merrier. You know, gives them more time to showcase. I mean, it's nice that the one is actually branching out a bit. I'm, as, I mean, if the last time we saw Kai and Trish with Midnight, the last show wasn't anything. Mm -hmm. Where the hell did one big go? Oh. Uh. Ah, whatever. What the hell? What? Zero. Oh dear. Their opponents, as part of team number two, introducing first from the realm of shadows, they are the speedy brawler Cam, the inic, the unpredictable horror melody, and their leader Trish. They are the one. Look at that, Cam going right up to him there with that. One. Yeah, I saw that. Excuse me, I need to make a quick bathroom run while I'll take the mic when Carol comes out. You got it. Stormy.
Introducing the final part of team number two from the Realm of Shadows and also representing the one, this is the Mad Medic, Carol! I believe this will also be Carol's very first eight woman tag team match. The last time I think there was an eight woman tag team match that actually had the one involved in it. I think it was Ty that was out here, not Carol. So this will be and Carol's first reminded. experience. And, and as far as I recall, that was that big tag match between them and the Academic Mayhem. And we were starting with Belligerent and Trish. And Trish, yeah. not <laughs> Trish with an immediate chop to Belligerent. Oh. oh, this is going to be a good match. We ought to set in and get our snacks ready. This is going to oh be a good Oh, God, one. already? Oh, oh God, God, already? Belligerent not wasting any time and, oh, biting the hand. Biting. <laughs> Boys, I get this feeling Belligerent is still very unhappy with the results from last night. Well, looking at this way, it's a way, to get, it's a way to get some aggression out as Trish makes the tag to Cam. Belligerent, belligerent not wasting lifting any time. Up. Snapmare. Belligerent lifted up that very mask that she uses to make sure she doesn't bite anyone. She lifted it right up just to bite Trish right in the hand. Oh no, not again! Oh my god, she's gonna <laughs> bite everybody! Everyone's getting bit! Cam taking a big exception to that with a jawbreaker. Oh, cool slide! Belligerent not backing down though. Give her credit as Cam drills her into a power slam. Oh! All three members trying to tell Belligerent to tag out for one of them, but Cam not Cam allowing cutting it. Cam her off, yeah. Cutting her off and keeping <laughs> keeping her facing away from her corner. Snap, jawbreaker. Kick to the gut. Cam, another and, clothesline ooh. attempt. No luck there. Uh, but Picks her up, backbreaker. Oh, backbreaker. Now belligerent trying to make another dash for the corner. No luck. Cam grabbing Big. her. Oh my god, power bomb. Go, go. Yeah, admittedly, one... Melody doesn't seem too happy that uh, her and belligerent are on opposite sides of the ring. Yeah, Even I can the see that. Those two have, yeah. Yeah. Well, at least it's just her. At least it's just uh, Belligerent and Cam going at it. And oh, look at this! I think Melody, I, I think Melody's trying still. to. I think Melody's trying to cheer Belligerent on. Yeah, I just heard that. And oh, when look at this! Belligerent tagging big. Tag on invigorated. Axe handle. Axe handle on the hand. Oh. Oh, tries for a kick, but no luck there. Cam with an opening barrage, wel welcoming her to the ring. Oh, ooh! Tilt a whirl. Up. Vig now trapped in the corner. This could be a double team effort. Here comes Trish off the tag. And Vig into the corner, up and over, back body oh. drop. Trish back in the ring now, and ooh, here comes Vig. Cam to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Cam over whoa. knee lift. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is Gwen doing in there? Gwen tried to, uh, Gwen tried to get in the ring to break it up, and oh, Trish! Disrespectfully slaps her off the apron. Oh boy. Big grabbing her now. Yep. I think Melody tried to protest to whatever Trish did, and Trish told her to just shut it, I think. I don't know. What the hell is Vic doing? Oh! Oh! oh. Guillotine! Whoa. Ow! That is a hellish guillotine. And what a way to do it straight to the leader as well. And Trish, I'll be drop her heavy with that. No, she didn't like that example. And Big <laughs> Trish took it, and Trish and took an exception to Gwen getting involved earlier and slapped her off the apron. I think she just pissed uh, Vig off. Yeah, Vig. Oh, Vig, not happy. And oh, Whoa, what the hell? Landed on her feet. And Trish still caught her. Trish uh -oh, is bad pissed. corner. Now Vig. Vig. Irish whip. Irish whip. And oh. Whoa. Double tackle. Good lord. Uh oh. Oh, Trish. Oh! oh. Hard kick from Invigorated. Running face wash, boot right to the face. And no boot involved at all. 
And uh -oh, oh, look at this. Oh, heel and all. Oh, oh, I think we're about to. Uh, and Big. Oh, she missed. Whoa, she missed. Whoa. Trish dodges it. Arm breaker. Arm breaker. Tornado kick. Trish trying to feed the crowd on her side now. Carol doing the same, doing some cheering on, trying to rise up the crowd. This is going to be good. Whoa! Rolls through. Oh! Oh! Hard kick straight to the chest. Doesn't miss that kick. Misses the head, but goes for the chest, and she connects. Uh oh. Trish now going for it. Oh! Into the corner and eats it. Big now. Just the luck trying to keep Big in the corner. Are we about to get a tag team? No, no we're no. not. Big's got something oh. else in mind. Um, Livy, Gwen, you might want to move. Running start. Tornado Whoa. DDT right through Livy and Belligerent. Now that's precision. Yeah. Display of acrobatics there. Very great display. And oh, down on the steps. Meeting Team One steps. We're up to four here. Ladies, you, you might want to get back in the ring. In the ring. Get back in the ring. Oh, brain buster on the floor. <laughs> Come on, get back in the ring. Oh, we're not oh, no. doing this again, are we? Oh, no, not this bullshit again. No, 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 no. Uh, 2K, no. 2K, no. Start switching to NJPW rules for this sort of thing and have a 20 count. It's I'm uh, big. Think, who's... I'm starting to think that, yeah, that'd be a good idea. No. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It is big that I need to do this for. Big, get in there. And get back out. Reset the count. Whew. Big resetting Sorry, the count now. Sorry, guys. Resetting the count with some divine intervention here. Trish already I'm having really enough problems where she happens. is. Belligerent screaming at Vig to get back in the ring there. Vig oh! wanting to do a lot of damage though on the standing, outside. A standing moonsault. For all we know, Vig might be going for a count out victory here. Maybe she doesn't uh, want to not. Maybe, maybe she doesn't want to pin Trish. Oh! Ooh, slamming against the apron. Ladies, you're not making this any easier for yourselves. Oh my god. Oh, not this again. Uh what the hell? Vig, get in the ring, please. In the ring, Here Vig we go once again. again. Ladies, Vig get resetting. in the fucking ring now. I can't believe we've had to do this twice. Oh. Trish now bringing the offense toward Vig. Nope, no, never mind. Vig countering on the floor here. Kind of hard to see with the Gretchen's current camera angle. Up. Uh, we can't do tornado rules for these. Can we at least remove count outs for them? Uh, I believe I'd have to make a custom match for it, but oh, this might do it. Oh! Oh, oh spear for the barricade! Chris literally spearing invigorated through the barricade. Ow! This isn't going to, this isn't gonna end with anything but a count out if this keeps up. Let just let's get them both in the ring, shall we? Trying. Oh, look at this! Trish going into the ring, Vig follows. Fuck off! What? Eh? Okay, so we're gonna make we're gonna make this a rule from now on. We're eliminating fucking countouts, period. This is bullshit. Especially for fucking tag matches. What a crock. Yeah, that's fair. Here are your winners by means of countout. The one! Which shouldn't have even been a count out because Trish was already outside of the ring before the 10 count hit. Yeah, she was I... inside the ring. Hmm. Should we redo this match? No, well, we can't now. Right now. And it looks like we've made it to the main event. Another three woman tag team match. The newly crowned XPWL Women's Tag Team Champions, the Two Suit Slayers, Diamond Romance, team up with the still reigning Women's Champion, Cheater the Storm, against the 
very, very awful team of Brianna Kazi and Midnight Sparkle of the Academic Mayhem. Oh, we will try to fix this problem for the next broadcast in the future. God damn this fucking game. Don't be yourself. I said, Mark. In proposition, Wednesday night, how about we do that match and take off the countouts this time? Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's do that. I have a headache. I really hate it when this game decides to fuck us over. You too, eh? Headache, yeah. Why you doing? Fortunately, I guess it do be like that sometimes. Unfortunately. Oh, management's already... I, I guarantee you, management's already freaking throwing shit down the hallway pissed off. Hold on, where'd that referee go? Did anyone see where that referee went? Last I saw, Belligerent was dragging him through the crowd. Oh. That would explain the uh, vague screaming I can distantly hear now. Well, here's the thing. I see, Liv uh, I see Libby's going up the aisle way, but I see Big Gwen and Belligerent kind of dragging the rep off. So, you know what? If Whatever happens to him happens to him at this point. I don't care. Send yep. another one no, no one believe in. No, you believe in. Thank you for helping me remember that. <laughs> or at least trying to help me uh, correct myself. It's been a while. God, that was a fucking great show. God damn this fucking Chinese piece of shit. Excuse me. <clears throat> You're fine. <laughs> type something and it freaking deliberately misses a letter or freaking type something different. Here we go, main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Where the hell is romance spelt? What the hell? Where? Anyway, this is your main event of the evening. Coming out first for Team 1, they are the Twin Vixen Terrors of Diamond and Romance, the two Shoot Slayers, your XBWL Women's Tag Team Champions. Romance, for some reason, didn't bring her belt to ringside. Then again, probably enough, probably because there's no titles on the line, I don't think it matters. I think I need to change up the tag entrance now. Either way, the Slayers put on a hell of a show last night on the Slam Fest, capturing their Women's Tag Team Championship from the one. Hell of a contest between the two teams, too. And they're being flanked by uh, <laughs> the Storm approaches. Oh, boy. Their tag team partner. She is your XBWL Women's Champion. She is the first warden of Bimbo Winter, Jitra the Storm. Really hope not. There it 
opponents for team number two first. From Japan and Costa Rica, respectively, they are the team of Kaze and Briani Del Rey. Briama Kaze! And these two, no strangers to the Slayers either. Actually, while uh, Kaze might not have as much experience, I'm pretty sure Diamond and Romance were in the Steam Division at the time that Briani was there as well. So, Briani somewhat knows them. And now the oddball of this entire scheme. Their tag team partner from Canterlot High and representing the academic mayhem. She is the dark reality warping angel of the XPWL. This is Midnight Sparkle. You have to wonder how her mind's doing right now, but as far as I'm aware, she's still kind of worried about the Sisters of Slash. They're still a thing, that is. Uh, obviously, yeah. To be fair, after what's been happening, I'm not so sure, to be honest with you. I kind of hope they work out whatever issues they have, but I'm a little doubtful right now. Again, I thought I overheard Fiametta going into management again earlier tonight. I remember, I, I don't remember what the details were, but I did remember seeing Fia going in there earlier this afternoon. We just had to hope for the best, I suppose. It's not Tornado. Uh, well, shit. Well, let's hope they keep this in the ring as Diamond and Briani start this, uh, start this off. Briani pushing Diamond to the ropes. Yes, and unfortunately it is not Tornado Tag, but we'll deal with it. Hopefully it won't be as bad with only three people on each side. Well, let's hope, but I kind of have my doubts to be honest with you, but we'll see. Headblock takeover by Briani trying to, oh, trying to overpower Diamond. Diamond with the head scissors. Whew. Diamond. I don't think it can get too bad. Most of these wrestlers don't go outside the ring. Not really, no. It's not so much them going outside the ring, it's when they try to get their opponents back in and they're doing it right in front of their other opponents that are standing on the apron. That's the only gripe I have about this game is that the game doesn't recognize that you're trying to get them back in. So nobody moves and you can't get them to go through their legs or anything. You used to be able to do it in the older iterations, but not so much now. That being said though, Briani with a bit of a hair pull here and taking Diamond over to her corner and tags in Kaze. Diamond, nice arm drag takeover. Kaze having a bit of trouble with, uh, with Diamond here in the early going. Diamond, hook in the leg. Oh, rocker dropper. Whew. Now Diamond dragging Kaze to her corner. What are we gonna get out of this? Tag to Romance, the Slayers now working together as a team. Kaze with a jawbreaker and grabbing Romance by the hair. Are we going to have a tug of war here? Snapmare. Snapmare. Nope, taking Romance back to their corner. Not a bad strategy. Oh, and Romance with a clothesline. Not a bad strategy for some, but not when you got somebody who runs, uh, can run you over at 100 miles an hour from a short sprint. Yeah. Kaze and Romance really laying in some heavy shots on each other, too. Knee breaker! Face, uh, face buster with the knee. And Kaze now tags in Midnight. I believe this is actually Midnight's first venture against any of the two suit slayers, to be honest. And oh, oh so hard so shot in the face. Takes a hard right from Romance. Is she going for the cover already? No, Aye. she's going to make a tag and Diamond back in off the tag. Guess they're saving Jeter for when they eh, for when they need that power. A little surprised she didn't get tagged in yet. Romance 
Diamond's trying to get the crowd behind Diamond here on the floor. And oh god, Diamond's stun gun. Arm drag takeover. This match is far from over yet. Into the corner and oh, another shoulder tackle right into the corner by Diamond. Trying to rile up the crowd. Jidra is asking for a tag here. And oh, Midnight will counter. Irish whip. Might be getting a tug of war here if we're not careful. Nope, never mind. Midnight and Briani working as a team here. Axe handle. And oh, reverse X factor by Briani. Diamond finding himself in a bit of trouble now. out from under and she's backing off going towards the corner and tags oh, in Jidra. Oh, here comes Jidra. And oh, Briani, a little quick on the draw there. Nice clothesline. Jidra back to her feet with a jawbreaker. And oh god, Ooh. almost takes Briani's head off. Kicking Briani, off. she is doing whatever she can to keep Jidra off of her. That's what, she, that's what her strategy is. Belly to belly, up and over. Trying to drag her away from the corner here. Is she gonna, nope. Oh. Disrespectfully right. kicking Jidra in the face. Trying to that go for a finisher. Gonna... Oh, went for a boom, did not man. work. <laughs> Jidra is oh saying no. Oh my god. Seen one of these in a while. Brianni's about to go through the Triple. damn ring at this point. Triple, Triple power, power bomb. bomb. One. How much is this? And Brianni just got that? flat. Here comes Kaze in off of the ooh, off of that attempt. And oh, Jeter with a knee to the back. Diamond pulling her into a sidewalk slam. Kaze's been taken care of. Briani getting a lot of uh, payback for that little disrespect earlier. And Briani's trying to get the hell out of there, and Jitra, not allowing her to make the tag, just grabs her by the hair and throws her to the other side of the ring. Oh boy, Jitra's mad. Oh, hip toss. Briani's making a mistake. She should have went for the. She should have went for the tag. Ooh. Oh, drop toe hole, not bad. Fabriani not, not looking. And smashing her knee into the canvas. I have a feeling we're gonna see that triple power bomb more than once in this match. Romance tag Mid in. Romance. Off the ropes, double back body drop. Romance, boot to the stomach and a DDT and into the cover. One, uh, two, oh, Midnight down my. on top of the ref. Oh my. Jidra marathon around the ring just to get the Midnight, but didn't get her get to her in time. Midnight kept trying to do side swipe and dodge, managing to get back out to her into the apron. I'm surprised. And Romance now with a submission hold, and Briani right next to the ropes. No rope break, she didn't bother trying to reach. Irish whip. And, oh, she got something in mind here. Did she just do, is she doing a double team without the double team? She is, double back body drop with nobody there. It tends to do that, yeah. Noticed. Kaze in off the tag now. Romance up and nice, el a nice elbow smash, a kip up. Backbreaker. Fist drop. Oh. Uppercut from Kaze. Try to forearm shot. That didn't work. Into the corner again. Romance eats the turnbuckle. Kaze misses the drop kick. And a clothesline over the top. Kaze going up to the top here, off the top rope, and lands on the floor. Two. Up to two already. Three. Four. Those 
Good end in a count out. Five, no. Kaze's going to get Romance back into the ring. Oh, thank God. Six. Oh, boot to the head. The, and oh, the, Diamond the, forcing Kaze back into the ring. Thank you, Diamond. Deidre practically begging Romance to make the tag. Romance is having a hard time getting to her feet. And Kaze now attacking Diamond. Uh -oh. oh boy, Stampede. Drop kick. Romance now finding herself in deep trouble. And she rolls out to the floor. Great move on her part to keep herself from getting pinned. Hi. Oh. Very great. Oh, God. Midnight only, strangling her. Only problem is that she rolled out on the wrong side of the ring. Diamond is still incapacitated, at least for now. And Jija's too far away to do any uh, legal action here. Legal not, and uh, rule-wise rule here in the yeah, arena. Yeah, not without the ref going and freaking stopping her on the way over. Oh, hard shot, the kick to the head. And Romance now trying to make a, uh, trying to make a crawl for the corner, but she can't. Midnight cuts her off, trying to go for the nerve hold. No. And Romance with a counter. Into the corner, this time with a and this time hits the forearm. Shot to the elbow. Romance really needs to make a tag here. Oh, DDT. And into the cover. One. Only one. And Romance, what is she doing? Oh, she's going to go for a super kick. Tuning her up. Going for it. And right on target. Into the cover. One. Coming into intercept. Two. Kaze tried to intercept. Jeedra caught her all oh. the way through. Sidewalk slam. And that look on Jeedra's face says it all. Get the hell out of my ring. Oh, gut buster. Midnight trying to crawl for safety here. Not going to help. Rolling neck snap. And oh. Romance tried to go for something. Midnight caught her with the DDT. She's not licked yet, though. Here we go into the corner and another forearm shot. I think Romance wants to make a tag, but Midnight's in the way. Oh God! Never mind, Romance isn't going for the tag after all. Bizarre. Bizarre. Oh, tried to go for a, something in the corner, midnight with a counter. Irish whip. Oh, here we go. Tornado DDT, this time on the other side of the ring. And right through. Midnight getting uh, Romance back to the feet. Romance out. Attempting, oh, tried to go for a suplex. Midnight not letting her get away with it. Suplex of her own. And Romance with a counter. Oh, sucker punch. And a backbreaker. Oh, Lord, not this again. Up to seven now. Ladies. They're not even trying to get back in the ring. Oh, chop. Eight. And oh! Midnight into the post. This isn't over. Romance diving into the ring for a 10 count victory. Nice. 
I honestly thought there was going to be a double count out there. Romance actually deciding to jump back in the ring in the last possible second. Man, that's literally the only thing she could have done. Would have loved it if it had not ended in a count out, but to be fair, they were all over the floor out there. Mm -hmm.